Little skinny bitch. What's up guys? It is July 4th, 2022. So happy Independence Day to all the Americans out there. And also shout out all single moms. So we got a workout today. I know the gym closes a little bit earlier today just cause it's the holiday. But yeah, I gotta get some meals in because I'm working out with the boy Saul. And so I told him, I actually hung out with him last night. I was like, yo bro, I'm gonna get three meals in before we even hit this workout to get the dumbest pump of all time. Um, and he said bet, and I'm gonna try to fucking pull it off. But I'm gonna be honest, I am like super sore right now. I hit legs yesterday and my back, like I literally just woke up this morning. I was just like, Oh my God, <laughs> like that was literally me. So uh, I'm just trying to move around, get stretched and get going. Also, here's the physique by the way. And also we are. We are. 12 days, I repeat, 12 days away from being in Houston, Texas. So uh, this is gonna be the start of a little series I'm gonna call Houston Takeover. Let's get it. Mm. Side note, my biggest caffeine fascination recently has been sugar-free Red Bulls, by the way. I am a caffeine connoisseur. Working at a supplement shop, you try a lot, or well, when I used to at least, yeah, you try a lot of different energy drinks and they actually like affect you differently depending on what the caffeine is, I think some of the other ingredients. And I don't know why, but recently Red Bull has just been hitting different even though it doesn't have like a fuck ton of caffeine, which is actually a good thing. Um, but yeah, I'm obsessed with these and I'm also obsessed with protein pancakes, but I'm a fucking idiot and I don't have any pancake sauce. People are gonna be like, what the fuck is pancake sauce? Sir, come on, get with it. And also fruit, so I literally need to go to the grocery store really quick and then I will be right back. Bag has been secured. Let's go, baby. Yeah, I'll have to take you guys on like a grocery haul one of these days because I usually buy a lot of stuff at one time and I swear I go to, cause Walmart's like three minutes from my house. So I go there like, three or four times a week just to grab a little stuff. But yeah, I usually stock up pretty heavy and I'll take you through one time. So here soon, but like I said, we have an addiction. We got four more, just add them to the collection. Also, these are fire. I don't care what you think about Logan Paul or KSI, this drink is delicious and is worth a try. And then we rock in a little bit of pineapple, A little bit of Maple Gross Farm sugar-free syrup. And I knew I was out of this. So a little olive oil for the gang and some strawberries. And then we gotta get our gallon jugs. I literally have them just like scattered throughout fucking everywhere. The, the gallon jugs are actually an addiction. Like not even, I know people are always like, oh my gosh, that's the most like douche bodybuilder thing ever. I've been doing that for like years now. I remember when I used to work construction, it was not very user friendly just to bring like a little bottle of water. So I would just snag the jugs cause, and they're also way cheaper, like people. If, yeah, just don't don't buy cases of water. There's literally no point. Just buy a big jug. It's literally all your water for the day. And yeah, they're like the cheapest form of water you could probably find. But it's time to make pancakes. Also, I have chickens at my house. Chicken. You don't play? I got a ball. Come here, peep. Oh. Oh, they didn't like that one. Oh, they didn't like that one. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> they got fucking pissed. Anyways, almost done with the pancakes. Um, I don't think there's any way I'm gonna be able to fit three meals in because it's like 10.30 right now. So I gotta mouth this down. I'm gonna go on a walk and then stretch and then probably eat like one more. Pre-workout pre -workout it up and then get ready to smash this bad boy. So yeah, I'll let you know when I finish the final product. Just finished up cooking. Here's the final result. 
a little strawberry pineapple chocolate chip pancakes and I have enough syrup in there to kill at least two horse stables so yeah I literally used like half a damn bottle is that just me or does anybody else just have like an absolute addiction to maple syrup when they got anything sweet because I cannot eat these things just raw dog like that would be absolutely disgusting but uh yeah so I'm gonna eat this I'm gonna go get moving I'm gonna go outside uh enjoy the sunny day as well because it's fourth and then stretch a little bit like 45 minutes later we're gonna try you one more meal before we go to this gym and yeah we're gonna hit a nasty one so get ready I'm gonna finish this actually really quick can I see something up here oh Ooh, there so we went on the little 20 minute walk. Uh, I am distended. Like my stomach was full. I felt gregnant. That's all I'm gonna put it as. But got that to simmer down a little bit. Uh, came back home, stretched a little bit. And now, so it's 11.30. I was supposed to hit the gym at 12. But I feel, honestly, I just feel like crap right now because I'm so sore and I ate way too much food. So I need to go there, I need to stretch out, uh, like mentally lock in for this workout, and then probably the next you'll see is gonna be meeting up with Seoul and uh, hitting this epic lift. I i don't think I'm mentally prepared for this, so that's gonna be the big thing. Try to put the camera down, have the boy record, and just lock in, laser in. But yeah, that's it for now. Let's fucking, yeah, I'm about to shit my pants. I'm probably going to do that at the gym. I'm not going to cap. Oh, also, pre-workout. I'm rocking uh, Hydraulic from Action Sledge. Rocking the Shark Bite flavor. It tastes like orange mango. I don't know how to explain the flavor, but it's really good. Probably best flavor I've ever tasted out of, damn, just about anything, honestly. Uh, mixed with Red Bull. Oh, and I gotta go back inside because I am gonna also take anabolic pump. It's arachidonic acid. It basically helps create inflammation in the muscle tissue, makes you literally feel fucking twice as big. So, I'm gonna be taking that. No halo draw, no halo testing. I promise we're keeping this one tame. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the gym. Welcome home. See you guys in there. All right, Caesar, when you watch this, you're fucking fired. Cause we're already here. Uh, what time is it? Oh, it's not wrong. Uh, I think it's backwards. It's like 12 one. He's late. I can't believe him. By the way, man is going brazy on the physique side right now. He still got the pump cover on, but like here, shelf arms, shelf arms a little bit. That's no pump, by the way, folks. That's literally zero pump. So, this is gonna be a nasty one. He said we're gonna go through uh, 27 exercises, so um, I don't think we'll be standing by the end of this. Our arms are gonna fall off. Our arms are gonna fall off? And our back is gonna fall apart. <laughs> All right, now I'm putting you on the spot. You gotta tell everybody why you're late. I got pulled over. I hear excuses. No excuses. <laughs> Daryl stuck his fist up my ass last night, and my back feels like it's fucking crunched like this to a million pieces. So I'm trying to get some decompression before Saul fucking kicks my ass, or else I'll start cramping, or I'll die. I don't even know what's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. Hey James, this is for you and Lex. We got we got suck a suck, suck a suck, baby. <laughs>
workout we're actually doing uh, alternating, so we're gonna go back, and then we're gonna go bicep, back to bicep. Personally, I know that's how you train. That's how he trains. Um, I haven't done that probably in years, so we'll see how the, uh, the bicep activation goes here. My, my get a little too much, might not be able to hit me back, but I don't want to. somebody asking me yesterday like hey is it gonna be busy and I was like you know I think it might be it's actually a lot busier than I thought it was gonna be though honestly I figured most people were boozing last night probably not even gonna wake up to like 4 p.m. fucking their alarm clock is fireworks going off but no there's actually a decent amount of people here but it makes it a lot tougher for us because there's no fucking pull down machine which is nice but, hey we'll catch you when we get there six, seven workouts or something like that in the, in the program. Like, that's as heavy as I'd go. And we're going like 15 workouts in the same way. Like, that's the part that's killing me. This is fucking heavy, that's heavy, everything's heavy, and we're doing a lot of it, so. Press the fucking like button, because we're trying to get some work done. It's the way I'm there, right here, so you hit the camera floor. <laughs> Heavy as fuck. I would never do this on a normal day. I'm gonna be honest. So I think you're fucking crazy for this, but hey man. Everybody's got different training styles, so whatever works for you. Uh, me, I like to take it a little more moderate, a little uh, progressive overload, obviously, but on the weight side, just because of previous injuries and shit, I try to keep it to a minimal. Maybe first two or three exercises go heavy, and then after that, it's more just volume hypertrophy. But hey, maybe I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, so don't listen to me. Let's get this.
figure it out already. Posing is actually very difficult. Oh, Jeff, yeah, sorry, I thought a car was coming. Um, and this man has spent, I mean, how long you been, how long you been posing now? About, um, I've, I mean, I've always practiced in just for a few minutes, but I've been really taking it serious this past, uh, three months, ever since I started getting leaner. And that way I can, I was finally seeing, like, my striations and stuff and seeing mm -hmm. how placement brings out certain muscle groups and stuff like that. Like, three months, I'd say. Yeah, and I'm guessing your mind muscle connection's gotten a lot better too. Oh yeah, for day. sure. So, Most definitely. Yeah, as you can tell, I don't fucking practice my posing very much, and I definitely should because I'm trying to get fucking absolutely saucy face. Um, so give me like, give me like a few more weeks to get saucy, and maybe the posing will look a little bit better. But I also need to practice too. So I actually learned a lot of stuff today. I did. Uh, from a training standpoint, from a fucking posing standpoint, everything. It was a fucking solid ass workout, solid ass day. Um, beat all the expectations, so I appreciate you. Dap me up, bitch. Oh, yes. Make sure to go follow this man, by the way. Make sure to go follow him on Instagram because this man is going to be the next big thing. I'm calling that right now. You're going to hear, you're going to watch this like a year from now, and you're going to be like, damn, Cole was right. I called it. You're welcome. Got another superstar for you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, welcome back. So, we just got back to the pad, me and good old Saul, yes sir. And now we're gonna be whipping up some goodness, so. I got him his little baby portion of food. He's getting that uh, eight ounces of 93.7 with a half a cup of rice, a little tortilla. I'm rocking the big boy. We got eight ounces of 93.7 and two cups of rice instead, because I need the extra calories, because I'm fat as fuck. And we're gonna go through some of the clips, see how they look. And yeah, I don't even know what we're gonna do after that. What are you doing today? Me? Um, yeah. My parents want to grill some chicken for the 4th of July. Eat a little bit and then probably go see some fireworks and then come back. But that's subject to change because you know, I like going out with my friends. So we'll see. I might yeah. just spend time with my family oh, or spend time with my friends, but yeah. subject to change, you know. Subject to change. Well, Subject I might just be a change. lazy fuck for the rest of the day because this was a sick ass full day and I'm honestly feeling kind of exhausted, so. As am I, that was a lot. Um, but yeah, and shout out Saul, by the way. Congrats to him, just graduated college, engineering professional, um, and he actually just visited for the weekend. It was his grad party this weekend, so uh, yeah, he's leaving. You're leaving tomorrow, right? Yeah, going back to work. Doing my engineering duties, being an engineer by day, bodybuilder by night, you know, fucking dream, living the dream. Living the motherfucking dream. I think that's everybody's fucking dream, have a, have a job that pays you really nice and you'd be a fucking bodybuilder. That's goals right there. Or you get paid to bodybuild. That'd be awesome. But, uh, one day, hopefully. Yeah, one day, one day. But yeah, so we're going to eat some food. Edit some of these clips and these photos, and we'll get back with you here soon. Oh, good morning. So, yeah, I took like a two-hour nap. <laughs> Feeling a lot better. I feel like the past two weeks has just been go and go and go and do this and do that. And I just have not been taking care of myself as I should on kind of like a personal level. Like, it's just like, I, this is not my standard for, uh, for living. And it's Monday and I got the day off, so I need to like actually get on my shit and clean up a little bit. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna clean up the house, maybe watch some fireworks a little bit. And then I got something special planned for you guys here in a bit. A little combo. We're gonna talk a little bit. Gonna set some goals. We're gonna have some fun. So you guys say. third meal of the day today. RIP, it's funny because I started this video saying, hey, I'm gonna bust out three meals before dinner, and I'm at fucking three meals right now, so RIP on that, but one cup of oats, got eight strawberries, two tablespoons of peanut butter, scoop of protein, so that is the staple. Um, right now, all I've been doing, just working on going through the footage that you just saw earlier, 
Uh, and it's going to be an absolute banger just, just looking through here. I know you guys are going to absolutely love this video. Uh, but yeah, what did I want to leave off with? That's right. One, also, it's 4th of July. I'm sorry. I hope you can't hear the fires fucking blasting right now. Uh, but Houston, okay? I'm going to pull you a little closer. Give me a sec. Shabang. Now, I know for y'all that are watching this, y'all understand, but Houston, I mean, at least for me personally, it's a big deal. So I've been following the Alpha Elite brand now since late 2016. Uh, funny enough, like how I started any of this in the first place was actually a result of him. And my passion and love for fitness has just grown over time. And it's funny because I'm making these videos now and like I remember listening to, it was a podcast on Anaka Power Radio with the Ghost CEOs and them talking about how the stuff that they wanted to do immediately uh, that they planned didn't happen until like five years later. And I feel like I'm in that same position of just like it took a long time for what I really wanted to happen come to fruition. But hey, you got to be patient and good things will come, but I finally put myself in a position to where I want to be, which is a leader in the fitness community. And also just putting out like entertaining ass content. Like I feel like I'm a very original person and I have a very different spin on the fitness community than most people. Yeah. <laughs> um, but going to Houston is more than just like going to a town for me. It's like, that's a, that's a dream that's four or five years in the making. So I've been preparing now, at least mentally and physically for the past like four weeks. And we still got, like I said, 12 more days to go. And you know, I, there's a lot of people that I want to go meet down there. I've literally been watching on repeat, like James English, uh, Lex Little, I know he doesn't live there, but that's another one. Um, just following on social media, all the other people on Instagram and TikTok, but I'm not down there. I'm not going down there to be like a fanboy. That is not the intention of what I'm doing. Like I'm going down there on business. Like I Sorry. want to. Oh Sorry. man, fucking Siri just ruined the whole damn thing. Gosh. But uh, like I like I said, I actually want to be a leader in this fitness community. And I don't remember what the quote was, but it's like when you walk in a place, you act like you own it, and that's exactly what I want to do. Like Alpha Land, I've seen in videos and pictures a million times. Like I feel like I even know that gym and I want to walk in there like I own it and show people what I'm actually made of, which is I want to push out really good content. I'm a very personable person and I have a lot to offer when it comes to this community. And I've already seen what I can do here in the hometown. Now I want to see what I can do long term. So just know this is the start of something great. I actually a little sneak peek for you. I plan on moving out there in January. So that is the tea time. You know, I've been running the production company, so make sure to go check, check out King Culture Productions. The link will be in the description down below. Um, Rebranded to the visual, some CWB visual underscore now. Um, and that's because I have more of a media focus. And that's just something I've always been super passionate about. So I wanted to do that now before I got too deep into cold bushy fitness. Cause yes, I do love fitness and I want to push in that realm, but at the same time, I don't know, I want, I want diversity. That's, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I want to be unique in all of this. So yeah, that's my fucking rant, but holy shit, fucking Houston, 12 days, boys. The hometown boys from the Midwest are about to make some fucking noise, so. I can't wait for y'all in Houston to come check this one out too. You guys are gonna really like this video. You're gonna like this series, but I hope everybody enjoys this series. I hope, hey, shout out um, Caesar by the way, once again, thank you for filming those video clips in the gym. Really appreciate you. Um, also shout out Saul, like I said, that is the homeboy and he is gonna do some really, really good things. Also make sure to check out InspoCast. InspoCast is our platform to showcase literally the rising superstars in the fitness game. And we've already had a few people really making some good traction when it comes to building their communities. Um, shout out, shout out Rodney Lambert, shout out Connor Sanon, uh, shout out Abraham Valero, shout out like literally anybody that's come on the podcast, shout out all y'all. 
Um, episode 25 is gonna be coming out probably right around the same time that this video is gonna drop. And yeah, there's just so many good things. Very appreciative for the position I'm in right now and for y'all watching. Thank you. But that's all I got. I need to fucking go do something. <laughs> I need to go watch some fireworks. I actually have some fun. Well, I'm having fun, but you know, go enjoy some normal shit too. So thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, press like button if you didn't already. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.